Thank you. I'm Lisa Ring, and I'm running for Congress in the 1st District of Georgia. And uh, that is correct. It is only a small portion due to gerrymandering. All we have is Naylor in the 1st District. But I'm here today because this is part of a bigger movement that's happening across the United States. So we're crossing district lines to talk to everybody and empower people and get them involved in the process. Um, when I decided to run for office, I knew that the way to win this, the way for me to take over a highly Republican district, was to get out and talk to people one-on-one, -on -one, to knock on their doors, and to talk about the issues that matter to them. That means talking about Medicare for All. That means talking about a living wage. That means talking about gun violence. It means talking about the issues that, that people care about, that affect their lives and impact their families. And what I've found is that we have gotten a very positive response. It hasn't just been Democrats. We've been out there knocking on doors in rural areas. <clears throat> the first district is 17 counties, so it's the entire coast of Georgia. We've been out there canvassing, knocking on doors, talking to people in these rural districts, and what we're finding out is that we're not as divided as we may think. What you hear on the news and what you see happening in this country is a very small portion of the population. We are the majority, the people who, who have common sense and who want to live their lives with dignity, to be able to take care of their families, to be able to work full time and not have to get food benefits to feed their families. We are the majority. So I've been campaigning for a year now. I started early because I wanted that 18 months to be able to talk to everybody in the district and to get people involved. This last primary election, we increased Democratic turnout by 13,000 votes. We went from 18,000 votes in 2014, which was the last primary election, to 30,000 votes. But not only that, Republican turnout dropped from 52,000 to 35,000. So there is only a 5,000 vote gap between Democrats and Republicans. We can do this. What we need is for you to do the work. We need you to register voters. We need you to educate voters to get them to check their voter registration and make sure they've not been purged from the voter rolls. We must educate people about absentee ballots. They don't even have to leave their home to vote. Uh, early voting. We have to provide rides for people to get to the polls if they haven't done early voting. But most important, we have to be working for candidates. We have so many awesome candidates running this year. Uh, they're running for seats that haven't had any challengers before. They were safely Republican. Um, people like Treva Gear are running. We, we have to support our candidates on all levels, from the State House, the State Senate, to Congress, and state positions. Here in Georgia, we can elect Stacey Abrams as the first woman governor in Georgia. The way we can do this work is together. If we're out knocking on doors and talking to our co-workers and talking to our family, uh, talking about which candidates are good on which issues and why they're good, this is how we're going to win. We have the energy. We need to do the work. And this is the year we're going to do it. This is the year that enough is enough. And we're taking control. And we're going to create a democracy that is for the people, for us. Yeah.